Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Today in this quick video, I'll show you a quick tip, but this is gonna be a very helpful tip. If you're trying to install Linux Mint on Acer laptop and you're facing an issue where it starts, but there is nothing happening, I'll show you how you can fix this issue. I had faced this issue myself and I was reading on forums and I couldn't find a clear solution for this problem. So this is the only solution that I have figured out myself and I hope this will be helpful to you. And of course, if you find this video helpful, please support it with a like, subscribe to the channel for more interesting, helpful video. And if you have any questions, drop them down in the comment section below. Okay, let's get started. So this is a regular budget level Acer laptop, even though it has a Ryzen 5 CPU is still a budget level laptop. This specific laptop is Acer A515-44 model. Let me know what laptop model you have this problem on and if it helped you to fix it. And as far as I understand these specific laptops, they have a very limited BIOS settings. If you go to the BIOS, you don't find very many settings and it doesn't allow you to switch to the legacy mode. And somehow when you install Linux alongside with Windows, it doesn't wanna work. I don't know why this happens, so let's go ahead and power on the laptops. I'll show you how this problem looks like. Okay, there we go. So we got the so we got the bootloader menu here. And as you can see, I got Linux Mint 20.3 Cinnamon. I have Windows Boot Manager. This is a Windows 10. So these are the two operating systems I have on this computer. And when I press enter to start Linux Mint, all I get is this loading screen. You see this underscore is flashing. I have tried to wait for some time. Maybe it will start loading, but it hasn't started after, after like 10 minutes. So I think this is not gonna fix itself. If you know another solution, please leave it in the comment section below. I'll be really happy to try and share your thoughts about it. But for now, the only solution that I find I'm gonna show you right now. So let's go ahead and reboot the laptop. So I'm just gonna go ahead and press the power button for three seconds, power it off and start it all over again. Okay, so now when we have started the laptop for the second time, instead of choosing the Linux Mint Cinnamon, I'm gonna choose Advanced Options for Linux Mint. So just go ahead and click on Advanced Options for Linux Mint, press Enter. Then it will take you to the special menu. As you can see, there is a recovery mode option I have few of them because I have tried to restore and trying to figure out this problem, but you're probably gonna have only two options. You're gonna have the regular Linux Mint and you're gonna have Linux Mint recovery mode. So go ahead and choose the recovery mode and press enter. It will go through the similar process, run some processes, and it's gonna show up a new window for you where you can choose a few different options. You can either resume normal boot, you can try to make free space, you can repair broken packages, check all file systems, update GRUB bootloader, enable networking, drop to root shell prompt, or check the system summary. So this is definitely a very handy menu in case you need to run any of these operations, but this is funny, you're not gonna need any of these options. All you have to do is just resume normal boot. So you don't have to do anything, so just go ahead and press enter. It's gonna show you a short message telling you that you're now going to exit the recovery mode and continue to the regular boot sequence. Just press okay. And there we go, Linux Mint has loaded in a second. So this is how it works. All you have to do is just gonna go to the advanced options, go to the recovery mode, and then just press resume normal boot. So this is it. This is all the trick that I have found. And Honestly, I'm not sure why this worked and why it couldn't work the other way. But if you know, please leave your comments down in the comment section below. And I hope this will help somebody to figure it out. I know you're gonna have to do that process every time you start it. So this is not the full fix for it, but still you can use it. Meanwhile, if you find another solution, that'd be great. Please share it down in the comment section below. But as you can see here, Linux Mint is fully functional. Everything's working. The Wi-Fi is working. You can go online. You can use it just like normal Linux Mint. So this is pretty weird. But I think the problem is with limited bias. You can turn on some settings. Yeah, this is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Always, if it helped you, please support it with the like. Subscribe to the channel for more interesting, helpful videos. 
And you can also go ahead and watch my other videos about Linux Mint. I have quite a few Linux videos. This will help me grow my channel and I appreciate your support very much. And this is it for now. I hope you guys have a nice day. See you soon. Bye-bye.